Tracking snow showers into the night, and I am expecting these to stick around on and off at least into the early morning hours. Additional accumulation looks like it's going to stay on the light side as temperatures uh, turn colder. In fact, dropping into the middle teens by first thing in the morning. Uh, so looking at future tracker again, some steady snow around this evening uh, becoming widely scattered later tonight and isolated on into your Tuesday, uh, but much colder air. Middle teens in the morning, afternoon highs only climbing into the low. 20s. Now the risk of a, a lake effect, a snow shower or flurry will stay in the forecast tomorrow uh, right through tomorrow afternoon before we continue to dry out on into your Tuesday night. Temperatures getting much colder down to 16 tonight. Uh, total snowfall anywhere from one to three inches. It looks like we may be on the lighter side of that and you have to keep in mind the ground's pretty warm so that first inch or so uh, most likely going to melt as it hits the ground across the area. Uh, temperatures tomorrow in the low 20s, staying blustery. Watch for some slippery spots in the morning. Anything that gets wet overnight and left untreated uh, can become slippery with those colder temperatures. Uh, still a small chance of a snow shower or flurry tomorrow right into uh, the afternoon. Over the next seven days, your temperatures do jump back into the upper 30s on Wednesday and Thursday. Only an isolated chance of a snow shower Wednesday. A better chance on Thursday. Even the risk of a little bit of rain before it changes back to snow on into Thursday afternoon and evening. Evening. A Friday staying cold for your Groundhog Day. Highs only in the upper teens with a chance of snow showers. And then the cold air sticks around for the weekend. In fact, highs only in the upper 20s uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then they fall through the day Sunday into the single digits by Sunday night and on into Monday when we struggle once again to get out of the teens.